Lanzarote is one of a group of seven volcanic islands that make up the Canary Isles archipelago. They lie about 60 miles west of the coast of Morocco in the Atlantic Ocean. Traditionally, the Canary Isles economy mainly depended on agriculture and fishing. Camels were first introduced from Africa as much as six centuries ago. They were ideally suited to the arid conditions and were used for transportation and other tasks connected with agriculture in the days before any recognisable road network. The arado, or plough, is used to make the furrows in which the seed is sown. The tanganilla is used for sowing the seeds. It opens the furrows, sows the seed and covers the earth in one single operation. This camel is pulling a rastria, a rake used to gently remove weeds from crop fields. Two camels can be yoked together to pull heavy loads. The saron is a device which was used for transporting soil to the fields. The soil was unloaded simultaneously from both sides through hatches so that the camel could remain balanced. An important task in a land with only rain and dew as natural water supplies was the delivery of barrels of drinking water to the scattered homesteads. Goods and people were carried on an early type of saddle called a Sia de Brazo, which roughly translated means armchair. The camels seen in the Canary Isles are dromedaries, which make up 94% of the world's camel population. They're distinguishable from the much rarer Bactrian camel by the presence of one hump. The Bactrian has two. Camels store energy and fat in their hump and eat plants that other animals are incapable of digesting. In the 20th century, camels started to be replaced by tractors and other machinery. With the decline in use by farmers, as well as the development of a road network, the population of camels began to decline. As foreign holidays became available to a wider audience in the mid-20th century and the Canary Isles became a popular tourist destination, the local population largely forsook agriculture and turned to more lucrative employment in the tourism industry. The camel's demise seemed inevitable until a local woman began offering tourists transport by camel over the inhospitable terrain. Now, in Lanzarote, some 300 camels provide tourists tours of the lunar landscape of the volcanic Montañas de Fuego, or Mountains of Fire, in the Timon Fire National Park. So long as there are tourists, the camel's future is assured. Such is the demand for their services that the camels work in shifts. They form a close bond with the handler and are well cared for. Camels are also much in demand for local festivals, including providing transport at Epiphany for the Magi on their journey to pay homage to the infant Jesus. Jose de Vieira y Clavijo was an 18th century professor. In his book about the natural history of Lanzarote, he said, the camel is extremely frugal and sober. It can survive on the sparsest of pastures and drinks once for several days. It's tailor-made for our sandy soils and stony lands. The camel walks many miles without tiring and has become a living carriage for the transport of large loads. At the end of their shift, the camayadas, or camel trains, can be seen making the trek through the lava fields back home to the finca, or farm, near the town of Ugar.
Here, the saddle, this type is known as the English saddle, is removed and the camels are treated to a well-deserved meal and an overnight rest before the start of another day in the working life of the Cameos de Lanzarote. <laughs>